there everyone, and welcome back to Kaiser Redux. I'm your host, Mr. Muckle and right now, we are looking pretty blue, but at the same time, we have a little bit of an eastern problem. We had a southern problem, but now they're all done taken care of because, well, we wanted to get rid of them. And we still have, uh, well, I guess this is an eastern problem. You know, this is a far eastern republic, western problem, but whatever, you know, words are hard. Um, and Sweden's gone too, so we're actually doing okay, but the fate of the dawn. After a short campaign across Kuban Plains, the Don Kuban Union finally capitulated, leaving us with control of the country. We must now decide what to do with it. And then conquer the Buddhist enclave of Kamilkia. As our flag raises high above Elista, we must decide what to do with these strange lands. We can incorporate them directly into our state, further expanding our nation to the Volga, pass the edges of the Northern Caucasus, or grant them autonomy and save ourselves a headache of a Buddhist and Cossack resistance, and fate of the Mountain of the Republic. The Alpine Fortress that is the Mountain Republic has finally been cracked open. Even now, more of our troops pour into the caverns and steep mountain passes, flushing the remaining Caucasus separatists from their rat nests. We could either leave this region to its own devices under a autonomous regime, or try ourselves to directly tame these wild cracks and crags and peaks. With these mountains and the people of always proved to be stubborn at best. So, uh, also before we do that, I do want to do the Georgian question. So, the one thing is certain: Georgia is a region of utmost importance to the empire. On top of the Caucasus Mountains being the perfect de defensive terrain to put us, put between us and our enemies, the territory encompasses several oil pipelines which Germany depends on. We just seek to research and control as soon as possible. I'm gonna do that immediately so we can spend the political power. Um, and then, uh, center is irrelevant, huh? Party st stability is very unstable and ideologically centrist. It's cool. Um, we're okay with that stuff for now. All the other stuff's okay. We're doing a lot of resource prospection, which is nice. Super fence can be disabled. Whatever, nah. But, I did want to at least show you guys what was going on. Reintegrate these guys, just reintegrate them. And we're currently doing the ORT system still. Followed up with... Uh, wing formations? Every single pilot needs to operate closer together, with smaller formations of planes divided into squadrons and wings. But, as you can see, like, it's definitely a mess here. Georgian question. Now that the Don Combined Union no longer exists, we must choose our stance towards the independence of Georgia. We can either try to bring them into the fold using the direct threat of military power or via covert operations using existing pro monarchist resistance groups. Is that in the force? Covert? Well, it seems more like. Realpolitik? I mean, realistically, these guys are not that strong. Two to three thousand manpower, up six divisions. And we did go expansionism. This feels like this would be more like realpolitik, throw them with force. And these guys are rushing over here. Actually, can you guys actually win, maybe? Eh, not over there, but bologna is gone. These guys can definitely... Yeah, how, strong, how many divisions do they have? I hear the Calchi too. So, after the war with the Don Caban Union, like... The Calchi's went way down. Wow, Austria's not looking good, is it? <coughs> Germany's lost 200,000 to us. Not bad. I wonder if divisions. That's not bad, actually. Of course, we're like... Holy crap, where do we get these guns? Oh, we must capitulate these guys, and then... Oh, my God. That's so nice. We have no political power, but that's so nice. So nice, so nice. Um, yeah. A Georgian resistance. The mad Georgian leadership has rejected our rifle demands. How should we react as an insolence? Through the best possible means. Now, we only we have tanks down here, but look... Oh, my gosh. They can pierce us, but they're completely surrounded, so... Yeah. Keep these guys in place. We'll be fine. Oh, hello. Request. Oh. I don't know if we could do that. Oh. How long have I been playing with for? So you guys just go around him. Cut him off. <clears throat> or just... There you go. I mean... I had a chance. He chose not to take it. Beautiful. How many have we killed off? 34,000? Nice. And we got Baku. I love it. I absolutely love it. Followed up with, uh, I still don't want to do that one. Frontline, a special forces office. <coughs> Excuse me. Our chief of staff believes that while weight isn't bad, finesse is definitely the better option. With elite units trained for specific circumstances, we can cut enemy lines apart. Easy. But, of course. Beautiful. Um, hmm. I don't want to fight in the marshes up here. Or the marshes down here. But... Ooh, there is a river line. I didn't realize that. There is a river line. That sucks. Uh, it's planes. We can come over here first. We might be able to bust through these guys, maybe. Get over that river line. I'm not really worried about this. Hey, oh, he's straight up annexing. Nice. Cool. And then we're going to figure out, oh, are we going to integrate them or are we going to not integrate them? Of course we're going to integrate them. This is all Eurasia. Oh, wow, it's lagging really hard. Couple comments up. Someone says we should have done Realpolitik. I know. I know. We'll get. We'll do a campaign eventually with Realpolitik. I promise you that. Oh, Goringia. 
right, not bad, and probably come up here. Uh, there you go. Fed of Azerbaijan. Oh, they're still attacking, which is awesome. After the fierce fight in the Caucasus, we've conquered and annexed Azerbaijan. The Azeri army has surrendered, and their territory is under our control, but the people are still resistant. What should we do with their newly conquered lands? <clears throat> the fate of Georgia. Uh, our, our armed forces have defeated the Georgian regime, and is now triumphantly marching through the streets of Tbilisi. The only remaining thing that is to do is to determine the status of the Georgian territory. Why would we do military occupation? Just why would we do that? Why do we do this again? Why does the game penalize this twice? I do not understand that. <clears throat> but yeah, overall, this is not bad. And what do we have here? Is, is, is it just a? Well, I guess we need four guns, maybe? maybe not. Um, just ships, just ship stuff. That's all. Look at that lag. That's a lot of lag. Another comment was though. Someone says the Imperium of Man is a mean path that will make, and we will struggle against them. <clears throat> oh, there goes Austria. Very nice. Um, so we might have to force them to die and use Cons commands. So if I have to, it is what it is. I don't want to use Cons commands, but oh well. Ah, more tanks. Nice. Uh, how many medium tanks do we have actually? Oh, we have infantry and divisions on them too. We can probably convert at least one of these battalions over. So there you guys go ahead, head that direction, or not because it's really bad. We need some. Logistic companies. 40s are not bad. We definitely, yeah, we definitely got to get some logistics. You guys, oh, do you have a medium? Actually, you know what? No. Keep doing what you're doing. We'll make these guys 40 combo with. Yeah, mediums are definitely going to be necessary for this stuff. Wow. This looks like almost Victoria 2 Germany. Like, with Super Germany, I should say. Alright, so since we're here, that looks really nice for Poland, but. Well, I'm glad they died, so now we get to have them. Very now. Very good. Yeah, let's go logistics. I don't think we haven't gotten that one yet. Let these guys... Eh, you know what? We can try to attack. Let's see what happens. Looking pretty good so far. Pretty good. Norway's looking pretty good as well. Not gonna lie. Um, yeah, the road's just gonna suck through here. Yeah, my bad. Oh god, that's so bad. So god awful. Oh, hello. Oh, did they actually break through? How did I get this tile back? Wait, why are we cut off? Wait, what? Why are we cut off? Well, you're dead anyway, so. Move, 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 move. Well, I mean, they want to attack. I'm, I'm okay with that, but, like, this is crap. Like, what happened here? Do not lose Lemberg. Go this way. Retreat. This is stupid. The game literally just cheats so that they can win. They just give... What the heck? What the heck? Full frontal attack. We're going in right now. They're not going to do this crap to us. No, 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 no. That is crap. That is absolute crap. Break through here. This is stupid. Yeah, no. That is god-awfully stupid. They just gave our territory away. Come on. There's some things in this mod I just hate, 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 hate with a passion. Uh, you can try that, but it's not probably going to work very well. Naval bomber development? Let's see, a single wing of naval bombers could be just as efficient as any ship. We need to develop this type of bomber further. Transylvania's gone, which is fine. Oh, God, we barely busted them out. Oh, my goodness. Now hold. You guys leave. What a bunch of crap that is. That's a bunch of crap. They just gave, gave away our territory that we earned. Come on. Alright. <clears throat> yeah, keep attacking. Let's see. How much how much more... How many more couches can we rack up? Communist France is racking up a ton against these guys. Holy crap. Just nice to see. Uh, just double check. Make sure we're not fighting anyone else. We're doing well, really well over there. Yeah, Germany's gonna have to die. And die hard. There's a little portion of Poland, though. It's very nice. Oh, wait, with these guys. Belgrade. Oh, Belgrade back is fighting these guys, too. Nice. Yeah, have another front, you piece of garbage Germans. We're really not gonna have any guns after this. Uh, 
Alright, not bad. I mean, overall, we're not doing too badly. Military breakthrough. Splendid news. And the geniuses in blank announced that we've made a great advancement in the fields of military engineering. Their military research breakthrough has likely inspired us months of additional hard work researching and developing. We'll already start testing it right away. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is just cracking all over the place. Nice, so this is about this tile. Screw these guys. What? And then they Oh my god, are you kidding me? The game literally gives our territory away, and then like the AI is like, oh sorry, I don't want this really. <clears throat> nice. Went in there, not bad. Doing okay ish here. Can't imagine these guys have a lot of manpower though. Yeah, they're they're completely out, so. Um, at this point, I'm going to actually request you to come back in this direction. I want you to focus, uh, maybe just in case. You never th know when things are going to happen, just because supplies are so bad. These guys, they have quite a few divisions, but it won't be that bad. You guys keep going. At least it shouldn't be that bad, right? Yeah, we have potentially more divisions than them, so. Not bad. Uh, 41. Artillery. Maybe some better anti-air, maybe? Perhaps? Maybe? Oh, okay, yeah. We're good. Oh, who are you, who's attacking here? Yeah, one division. I don't know if that's going to be enough. Oh, the Baratia Academy is gone. Goodbye. Yeah, we'll probably have to deal with this later on. Oh, wow. Did the Qing win here? That's a lot of Qing, like, imperial authorities. And military government. Yeah, it looks like... Oh, Imperial Man's down here, too. Oh, they declare war on everybody. Okay, so what would that to give them, like... Holy crap. Gion has gone. Nice. Oh. Okay, so this is that's really stupid. This is really stupid. Why, why did they give us a territory? Oh my god. Are you stupid? Are you kidding me? Why? Okay, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just like give... I'm just going to annex them or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to deal with that, so... Alright, everyone. So now we're doing... Still neighbor barn development. I just annex them. I'm, I'm not going to deal with the Imperial Man. It probably doesn't normally happen, but like all the crap with all these like I, I don't want to deal with it I'll be honest. Holy crap. This looks really bad. Oh my god, but anyways, whatever just I'm not gonna deal with it. I'm just gonna straight up annex him <clears throat> Excuse me, but like yeah, I'm not gonna deal with it that that I get it guys are redux. It's got a lot of meme paths, but that's, Should be able to disable that which maybe you can disable that, but I don't know just I'm not gonna deal with that He's gonna annex a lot of my own territory that we've worked really hard to try to acquire. Yeah, no thanks, man. No thanks. Uh, let's go modern Blitz Creek though. We got plenty. We'll have plenty of enough manpower for the future. Get some extraction. We could. Oh, we got plenty of rubber actually, huh? Yeah, kill these guys off. You can definitely push these guys out. These guys need to be pushed out as well. Albania clear war in Serbia. Very nice. Help out! Help out! Because I'm already pushing into these guys too, because the Belgrade Pact is not doing too bad. France is still struggling, but what else is new? He's going to go in right now. Counter attack him. Create the VDV. Uh, import firm specialists. I think I read this one before, so if you want to do this again, please go right ahead. Yeah, you got to go in. You got to grind every last German and pull down to dust. Because these guys are pushing through. Munich is, well, Swedish now. Bane's gone, create the VDV. Some of the more experienced members of our chief of staff suggest that the motorization of our troops was only the first step. The next step will be to move infantry not by ships or trucks, but by planes. Drop them so called paratroopers behind enemy lines, we can cut off enemy units and hit spy points. I guess we don't have air superiority, yeah. It definitely shows where we don't have air superiority. But, I mean, honestly, like this 13,000 manpower. They should have less than a million by now. They really should. Poland has barely any. An all adult serve, so. We did, we did push in a little bit, so. Simulant production, nice. Grab some more oil. I mean, we don't really need it right now, but still. Did you guys actually win here? I'm kind of impressed if you guys actually could. <clears throat> so we did push in a little bit. Ooh, the other one's gone. Good. Very nice. This is very weird to see here. Um, you can actually win here, though. Yeah, you can. Very nice. You guys can keep it trying to attack, but it ain't gonna work. 
especially since we spread ourselves out pretty pretty far and wide. So yeah, I don't know. I don't just the whole Imperium, man. I need to play that campaign sometime, but it sucks when it happens to you. It really does. Oh, holy crap! Look at that. He's level eight attack. Nice. That's pretty good. Um, still building ourselves up a little bit more, but um, we actually don't need that anymore. Uh, get one of these. Obviously, keep, we gotta make some roads eventually, too. We need plenty of roads. They're attacking us, which is not good. Plenty, 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 plenty of roads. Oh, we don't really care. Argentina's gone. Brazil's won. Serbia's gone. Goodbye, Serbia. Serbia's kind of struggling in this campaign, but it's fine with us. Whatever. Um, get some more millies. There you go. Get a lot more planes. Get a lot more stuff. We can use more stuff. Join the on town, which is fine with us. Don't really care. And oh, see, less than a million now. Nice. Oh, thank God, we got logistics one. We need to raise the conscription level next too. Forties immediately do this. Thanks. Oh, hmm. Anti air is not bad. I like recon. Get rid of the arty as, as much. Even though we'll lose like quite a bit of soft attack. I mean, it's still gonna be a lot worse. Tank wise, we got plenty of light tanks. Medium tanks not looking too bad either. Um, I don't want to make these like 40 combo with tank divisions, but light tank divisions, I should say. Do we have enough for that? We barely do. Um, go lights. Go motorized. We have more than enough light tanks to do this. I mean, obviously, it's not smart to do, but since we got them, might as well use them. All right? It's, well, it's alright. Make them nice and thick. If they're not thick, we don't want them. And the VDV. Followed up with the naval mo Navy modernization. If we're to stand proud among the great nations of Europe again, we must build a new modern Navy that can challenge great powers of Europe and the world, which we might need. We'll see. We might honestly not need it, but... Hey, they're attacking again. Look at that. Oh, who would have thought that? That's just getting so much... So much experience. I love it. You guys are fine. You guys are fine. Um... Go up and around them. Uh, over here, we're still doing great. Like, it's still not bad. Cheetah, is it? Yeah, that's fine. You can build that too. There, get some, get some radar because you can. Yeah, that's not looking good. Of course, we'll get more cord stuff, but yeah, that's fine. That's good. Good stuff. Uh, plane wise, we need way more light tanks now. Holy smokes! Fighters? We have a few extra spare fighters. Oh, look at that. They're attacking again. Nice. Here, there you go. Nice. Naval bombers are nice. Naval bombers, cool. There you go. I'll get to the technology in a little bit. Um, bombers, fighters. There you go, fighters. Oh, there goes American Union State. Bye bye. There you go, too. Nice. Very helpful. Well, the Reds are definitely pushing in hard. <clears throat> so that's pretty good. At least for them. For us, can we actually push in as well? Well, it says we might be able to. Kind of don't believe them. There's a lot of Red for us. I mean, the Poles have just got to be out of equipment. They have to be. Or man, no, they're, they're, eh, they're still getting more manpower back. Stockpile wise, they got plenty of guns. Not a lot of artillery though. Yeah, I mean they're just death stacking. So really, the French are going to be able to really do some damage here. Not us. Hey, look at this sick one though. That's nice. Oh, but the Baltics are slowly falling. Nice. Once the Baltic states fall, that'd be really good. I'm actually pushing it here too, huh? Nice. How about right here? If we can circle that, we can get we can definitely get rid of these guys. 45, not bad, not bad. Keep going, keep going down. Here, help out. And maybe modernization.
Good, good, good. Oh, hello. Um, yeah, give us, give us our guys a little bit more time. They're going to be pushed back a little bit. I mean, well, the poles are going to pay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Infrastructure improvements. If you want to know about that, please go ahead. Excellent. Awesome. Oh, that's really dangerous. We can get encircled there. Oh, there'd been you one, huh? Well, good luck with that. There you go. Hey, and it's another segment. Great. Excuse me. Good. Honestly, you guys can just come crashing down through. Go to Riga. Keep these guys in place. Get all these divisions off. Nice. They're, they're dead. Oh, crap. That's not good. 41. Military police, I guess, because he can. Oh, crap. Captured by the German Empire. Well, go get him. Take out Riga. Nice. There you go. Not bad. Not bad. <clears throat> and there goes the Baltic Federation. This is not a massive victory, but hey, it's still a victory nonetheless. Honestly, we attack Lithuania, they're going to die. Once Lithuania dies, the road to Germany is open. Obviously, I wish you didn't have to do a full frontal attack where everyone has to attack. Which is what I like to see. Like, why can't we have, like, one... I guess basically you could have set it up like that, but, like... I was like, oh, just this general. Please just attack this group. This general, please attack this group. I wish it was more like that. Like, this army group, you go in. You're all part of the front lines, but this army group, go in. Can you guys actually attack here, too? And do well? Maybe not. I think Germany is... Yeah, they're definitely on the... They gotta be on the last legs, man. They gotta be. Hungary exists, huh? Still gotta go to Central Asia, too. Uh... Koch, Kanar, Exploitation? Sure, why not? And we're doing, we're doing great here. So. I'm glad I looked over here. Ooh. Vladimir, oh, oh yes, adaptable, absolutely. Yeah, once these guys are gone, it's all over for them. So you help get rid of more divisions. They lost, what, a million? Yeah, about roughly a million. It's not bad. Alaska, we're fighting Alaska, too. We've killed off almost a million of them, too, so. Hey, you know, it's nice. The fall of Lithuania is at hand. Quite literally. Well, you left your border open, Germany. I'm not sure what you're trying to do. Even though it's incredibly bloody here. Oh, we're pushing to Poland a little bit, too. It's very nice. Proved anti air, nice. Grab the next artillery, it's fine. Just a little bit ahead of time. Boys, go in. That'll be good. Maybe modernization? Modernize Petrograd dockyards. With Petrograd being the largest port city in western Russia, it's only natural that it'll serve as a linchpin for any fleet expansion project. With a relatively modern infrastructure and skilled engineers are already in place, modernizing its dockyards would be the fast way of expanding shipbuilding capacity. Oh, you have to shift divisions around? Oh, don't say it so, guys. Don't say it so. Get, get the next one, too. Follow it up with... Uh, which way are we going? I forget. Fleet and Bean. Vice Admiral Nikolai Komolatsev believes in the power of discipline of majestic dreadnoughts based on experiences in the Valkyrie and the Russian Civil War. They advocate for the massive warships to remain in the centerpieces of our Navy. Nice. Well, Königsberg is ours, actually. Tungsten mines in North Korea. Return to Norwegian lands. 
The Norwegian government has been discussing what to do with the Norwegian lands we currently occupy. Lands we have no rightful claim to. Should we return the land to our Norwegian allies? Uh, we'll see. Nice circumstance. We're definitely pushing in, though. It's, it's, it's definitely a grind, but... Hello. Yeah, it's definitely not great, but... Germany's got to be dying super hard. Like, this is ridiculous. Oh, they're almost out of manpower. Nice. Are the French out of manpower? Oh, they're still out of manpower. Oh, they're both on volunteer only, huh? We could definitely use the Central Asian region's manpower. Definitely, 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 definitely. Nice. Oh, if we could grab this, it'll be so good. But then again, they already finished that box, so whatever. Yeah, I just do this stuff, that's fine. Doesn't matter too much. Poland is, well, they're definitely not giving up without a fight, but then again, Russia's gone. Actually, since we're here. And we should have spent more time doing some of this stuff as well, but whatever. Yeah, they're less than 100,000 manpower stockpile. They're out of guns. They're out of artillery. They're done. They're literally done. Even though we're not completely winning here on the entire front, overall, like, we're doing, we're doing work. Elbing, nice, nice, nice. How many divisions I've left? Quite a few, maybe. Quite a few. So who else do we need to capitulate? So they're them. That's it. Just Germany, huh? Warsaw is a frontline city. We probably won't be able to take it just yet. Give us some more time. Why is it send our ships in? Will they die? Probably. I wonder if we can find anything here, though. It would be kind of nuts if we could. Uh, Estonia? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Was that an immediate core? No. No, it was not. Not yet. Hey! Nice. We have a ransom divisions as well. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, just... You gotta keep up the constant attack so that they won't be able to respond. Poland really chose poorly this campaign. 24,000 manpower on extensive... Uh, they're, oh, they're out of manpower. Nice. Oh, there goes Qing. Qing China. Who did they die to? The Feng Qing government. Fire brigades are nice. Grab some of those, too. Well, we can't give up the attacks. We just gotta keep going, going, going. The grind, grind, grind. We're losing a lot of men, but we got more than enough manpower. We will have more than enough where we're headed. Warsaw will fall. Once Warsaw's gone, Germany's completely dead. They have to be. Warsaw, come on. Fall of Warsaw. Might need loads, though. Maybe? I don't see the capital anymore. Nice. Level 8 attack. Fighting amounts are really bad, but whatever. Loads would be super important to get. Nice. Dr. Phil, thank you for joining us. The Reverend Dr. Phil. I don't know if he's a reverend, but... This has got to capitulate Poland. There we go. That's what we like to see. Get rid of those Polish divisions. How many Poles want to die for Germany? Yeah, I think none. But they already did. Hey, four more divisions. Go die, die. Overall, not bad. Not too shabby. Goodbye. Oh, 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 man. I wish we could get to Berlin, but they're so far away. Australia claims South Pacific. The Australian government pursuing a revanchist policy, which it calls the Anderson Doctrine, has laid claim on the southern Pacific Islands, citing that they were the only loss due to Germany's assumption of control following the Valkyrie, and that they are part of the Australian Confederation's eminent domain. Outrageous. Absolutely outrageous. Give us a guys just a slightly more time to reorganize ourselves right now. 
And then, modernize Murmansk. As a gateway into the Barents Sea, Murmansk will be turned into a pivotal strategic location for Northern Navy. Those facilities are as yet of underdeveloped. Expanding them. <clears throat> It allows to move submarines and other ships in the North Sea and beyond in the Atlantic, bypassing any Western navies in the Baltic Sea. Not a bad idea. Just in case. And it is 41. Not bad. Let me grab some of that stuff, too. Nice. Give it a little bit more. Oh, they're still attacking us. You know? We needed time to recuperate some of our losses. Never mind, we got more than enough equipment. Holy crap. Ah, yeah, better meeting things is good. Let's do that. Uh, we can go up to there. Yeah, go with that option, go with that option. There you go, just in case. And. Fighters, yeah, get some better fighter stuff. It's fine. Posing. Yeah, sure, we just cannot keep it up. Three. Two. One. Oh, they're attacking us again. Well, yep, time to counterattack. These schools open. If you want to read about that, please go ahead. Yeah, oh, wow. A lot of political power. I love it. Focus exports. Eh. Yeah, that counterattack was the last one they could do. I mean, honestly, look at all the green. And mountains is pretty bad, but since we own this, I guess. Propaganda efforts? Might as well. Just because I was glitched from the Super Imperium of Man. Usually, when I play as Russia, I like to take out Central Asia first, but obviously, it didn't work out this way this time. But after this one, actually, you know what? Let's do, let's do another one of these. Um, force up on the straits? Demand Bessarabia back. Bessarabia is not only important strategically, but also culturally, seeing as there's a Russian minority living there. What a man is handed over from the Russian Romanian government, because we are the Russian government, yes. Very much so. We should be. Keep going, guys. You're doing great. How's this side looking? That's oh, looking beautiful. Holy crap. Just set and forget and Transmere's gonna die and then these guys are probably gonna try to kill us, but whatever. Honestly, can we take out the, Oh no, I want the Ottomans to finish these guys up first and then we'll take them out. We're gonna take out the Belgrade pack probably, so. Come on, Germany, die, 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 die. We've only caught up one and a half million. We caught, we caught up a lot to the French commune. The commune of France. What do we call it? I don't know. Bunch of communes. He's learned a lot. Level five, five, six, six, six. Nice, nice numbers. Shang Shi requests weapons. A small world state has petitioned us for arms. Eh, why not? We, we, we got plenty to spare. Demand these guys back. They might go to war with us. We'll see what happens. Uh, Russian Academy of Science, with us leading an important alliance, we can't forget that scientific uh, cooperation is key. Oh, there's a lot of lag. And I think I this one earlier, so key to, like, you know, developing our sciences and stuff, so. Um, surely in a leading position in the world, we shall create the RIS to help out with the research new technology. So, it's going to lag really hard, so I'm going to be right back and we'll capitulate the German Empire. Alright, everyone. The fate of Transamir. The Vladivostok regime has finally been defeated. The Russian, Russian army is surrounding in mass, and the Russian flag is now flying over the great Russian city of Vladivostok. We must decide the fate of this quasi-state and integrate it back into a country or create a buffer state between us and the Japanese. Of course, we're going to reintegrate our lands. But if you'd like to read about the fate of these different countries, please go ahead. I think that's going to hurt us quite a bit, but I'm just probably going to just annex them just because... I'm not sure what else to do with them. Also, right now, uh, we got to get ready for Romania. So, yeah. Uh, how are we going to do this, actually? Well, I'll put 24 of you guys here. It'll be the weak line. And then I'll put 24 divisions around there-ish. Maybe? Yeah. And then I'll have you guys... This is actually Benat. The Benat Republic is here. I want to... You can go here, too. Under. And you know what? You can double up here, too. Why not? For funsies. Um, so, yeah. I think... Uh, this is going to kill us, but... Natural Occupation... I thought this was Eurasia, like the red Czechoslovak state. Nah, Somalia, which I don't know. I don't understand why it was Somalia, but whatever. Latvia, integrate them. Fate of Finland, integrate the lands into Eurasia, of course. Fate of White Ruthenia, reintegrate. Fate of Ukraine, reintegrate. Fate of Belgium, reintegrate or military occupation. 
Uh, Legation City Council, or City Council, Council votes and restoring the vote for years. We've had only observer rights on the Legation Council in Shanghai, even though we have Chinese concessions. They claim that the reason for the disrespect were the competing claims of the pathetic Vladivostok regime of Admiral Kolchak. Now that the Transmir no longer disputes our claims to be the one true Russia, however, the chair has decided to call a vote on whether or not to restore our rights. If there's any justice in this world, we will naturally regain them, but we cannot discount the malice and jealousy of Tokyo and Berlin. Let's see, let the Council see sense and the fate of Germany. The German Empire is defeated. Our brave soldiers march through the Unter den Linden, <clears throat> displaying without a doubt the Russian armed forces prevailed in the mortal struggle against the horrid German Empire. We now have to decide what to do with the lands of our former enemies. German Union? No! Just because it helped to reduce lag and that killed our stability and killed our political power, but we still get almost two a day, roughly two, so integrate, integrate, integrate. Yes, yes, please. A fate of the Pacific Fleet. The great far eastern port city of Vladivostok is Russian once more. There are many ships in the harbor, including the bulk of Transmarine's old navy as well as those owned by private individuals or companies. Some of these could be adapted for military purposes. One of them is a tanker, which is large enough to be converted into a basic aircraft carrier. Convert all ships. Old naval designs. Sail off. That's not bad. I like that a lot. Um, honestly, they're probably really bad. Remove two civvies and add a naval dockyard. Um, I don't remember how big the navy is. I mean, our navy is not very good. We're honestly trying to improve it already. I'm going to assume that their navy's not very good. So, um, sell them off. Just sell it off. So they can have, we can get two civvies. We get political power that we're going to need out of this anyway, so. And we're trying to make better ships anyways. And that's the case, like, let's go and make some more dockyards. Like, it's only 41. Oh, well, that's going to be an Anton. Yeah, we'll probably end up going to war with the Anton too. Because someone did say we should try to get all of Europe and Asia. So, I don't know if we can get all of them. But we can get a good chunk of all those groups. And we might... Take out Norway. We'll see what happens. I don't know. Fate of Transmarine Generals. We must decide the fate of the Trader Generals who sided with Kolchak in 1925. We can part of them and allow them to serve in the Russian army. <clears throat> Using experience in combat skills. Or try them as criminals and traitors. Um, hmm. Try for treason. Honestly, we need this stability. We really do. Uh, we get more compliance though if we go this way. We get more resistance though if we go this way. Honestly, I want... I, I, we need the stability. We really do. Wait, wh wh why were these guys released? I did not release these guys. Wh why did the game release them? Uh, Trentino. Taking control of the former Austrian territory in Trentino. Occupation. Reintegrate. Fate of Poland. Integrate. So, I'm going to go ahead and... This is BS. Why did they release this group? I didn't release them. Um. Also, ooh... Ooh, that's going to take a while for us to do. They have Admiral Kolchak, though. Is this man an Admiral Traitor or a hero of Russia? Who is Admiral Kolchak? A Russian Cincinnatus who made a difficult choice during the Civil War. And then again for the sake of saving the motherland and opposing Karanshi China. Perhaps we should spare the Admiral if he's willing to give up all claims to this title of Supreme Ruler and continue his naval service as he always wanted. Let him save the motherland. He will be tried for treason because we need more stability. And I might just go back and. Oh, reforming Russia's sword. Oh, great news. Great news. So. With this, I think I might just go back and make sure that we can actually go to war with some people. So, I'll make sure that we can, we'll start off with attack the Roma uh, legionary, Romanian Legionary Kingdom, demand Bessarabia. We're going to attack Alash, and then maybe do the fate of Turkestan right now. Conquest of Turkestan. The region of Turkestan since the Civil War was a large battlefield for different factions to gain control over the whole region. When a government decided to bring Turkestan back into Russian sphere of influence, the region was already united by a certain political grouping. Now, we decide how we should solve the Turkestan issue. Autonomy? Take Transcopia? Demand full incorporation? Yeah. We've already gone to war with the last... Oh, actually. I guess we're fighting Romania now, too. We're fighting these guys. The Chinese United Front would got to fight off as well, eventually, but... Mm, whatever. Also, we're at war with these guys. They refuse to hand over Bessarabia, so... Yeah. Uh, as you can see, it's not too much of an issue. Oh, they canceled non-aggression pact? Well... If they attack us, and so be it. Just kill them off, guys. The fault. Washington, oh boy. Nice. Yeah, I don't think Romania's gonna be able to do very much against us. Could be wrong. Oh, there goes America. Um, wow, the car still exists. Nicolay, I actually have quite a few divisions. Look at this. Yeah, with all these different, I, I just, uh, the whole Imperium, you know, Imperium of Man thing just kind of screwed everything up. But whatever. Keep going in, boys and girls. You're doing a great job. The Romanians cower before us. Our campaign to secure the best Arabian government has been successful, and the Romanians, dread, dreading further damage to the country, have asked us to begin negotiations. Um, to end this war. How should you respond? Except... Look, we gave you an option out. 
You chose not to take it, so that's your fault, your problem, not ours. Emirate of Bukhara refuses. The Emirate of Bukhara refuses to be incorporated. Therefore, an allegation made. It clear that the Bukharan people will fight for freedom. Alright, well, we have an army over there already, so they're going to be doing stuff. I'm not really too concerned. Once they finish with the Balkans... Um, hello, why'd you get in circle, guys? Wait, why are you not doing anything? Because I didn't give you orders, that's why. Go in. Yeah, just go this way. Take out the capital. And what else do we have here? Oh, renaming Baltic cities. Now that the Baltic cities were handed over to the Germans as a result of the shameful Brest peace, the question of local place names has arisen. Should we return the pre-revolutionary Russian names to the localities, or would it be better to leave it in the discretion of local residents, who in other matters have always called the cities and villages in a local manner? Eh, oops, oh, my finger slipped, and her name, Königsberg. Our shame is avenged. What we've been waiting for for the last 20 years has happened today. We have washed away the shame of the Great War by defeating Germany. We now control East Prussia, center on the city of Königsberg, the cradle of the German Empire. Now we need to decide the fate of the city, whether we should leave it a German name or whether it should be named uh, Krovlevets, as it was called by our ancestors. The Slavs who lived in Prussia before the Germans, some patriots would like to give it the city a new name in honor of the great figures who raised Russia from its knees. Some are in favor of remembering the glorious victories of our seven years' war and the new name. The choice is ours. Heroes of Old Times. I kind of like that one. Heroes of Old Times. I love that one. Other variants seem more legit. Oh, wait, what? Well. Okay, maybe that's not really ready yet? I don't know. Oh, we did force open the straits. With Central Asia and the Caucasus region under our control, we can look to the wealthy and strategically important Middle East. Our presence will tilt the scales of balance in the region, and our armies will need to be prepared for difficulty in war. Fair. Mountainous. Which is mountainous at mountainous terrain, the Mongolian issue. Um, referendum in Vladivostok. Uh, if you're only about that, please go ahead. Take over Transmir. Well, we kind of already did this one, so. Oh, wait, does it not autocomplete? Referendum. Well, the Far Eastern Republic was born out of Kolchak's treachery and Japanese support. Those two forces are mocking us, occupying rifle territories. We must wipe the traitors staying out the face of the earth. Assert our position in Asia. Our position in the East is, in, is relative to Japan is not strong enough to go to war with them. Instead, we should negotiate with the Transsakalin, our rifle lands. Nice. And you guys are just trying to mop up Serbia quickly. Well, somewhat quickly as it appears to be. Hey, hey, can you go? Belgrade is uh, is a knocking right now, so yeah, let's go. And we're doing relatively okay over here too, so. Go boys, go! Dubrovnik. Nice. And, oh, oh, well, that's very nice. Let's just very nice. That's all about head down, 76 days, nice. Oh yeah, these guys refuse, so whatever. Don't care. 1.16 million manpower is not bad either. And, oh, that goes Bulgaria. You know what? Since we're going to go to war with them anyways. Or we were at war with them, but they were at war with those other guys. Just take it. I don't care. Also, I don't have coffee here, but I do have an energy drink, which is called Rowdy Energy. Not sponsored, but... Just want to try something else different this time. Cool. And we're running over the divisions. Bucharest is literally undefended. So we'll take it. Vladimir? No, nothing there? Okay. Let's crack down. Anything else around here? Attack the Ottoman Empire. Follow Bucharest. It is ours, which means the fuel is ours, which is good. And there goes Romania now. <sighs> beautiful, my friends. Absolutely beautiful. So we gotta be ready just in case the Reds attack, so. Because you never really know. Um. Move an army over there. Put an army around here. Or, we get ready for China. Because the Chinese might attack us too. Yeah, that's where we go northern China there. Hmm. You know what? We need more divisions. There you go. Keep you, keep you here, just in case. I don't trust the Reds. Oh, George Bush. Hello. Joel G. Joel G now. I don't want to go to war with the Japanese either. Hmm. Ottomans, maybe? That might be the next best bet for now. I do want to... these guys to kill them off, too, but we'll see. There you go. So, with that, then we're at war with. Who? The Chinese United Front, Xinjiang, which we're technically already over there, so. Yeah, that's a mess. Yeah, that's what I thought. But the board is already kind of taken out, so... Fade of Bulgaria. 
Well, after a long fight with the Bulgarians, we've launched full offensive and forced the Bulgarian army to surrender. So, peace is in our hands. What should we do with it? Military occupation. And the Iron Curtain. Well, we can't do this one, so if you don't worry about this one, please go right ahead. The Iron Curtain. And Iron Curtain is descended across the continent, and we shall break it if we have to. Nice. Break the Iron Curtain. Yeah, I don't want to do that one yet. Probably going to have to do it eventually, but not yet. Denmark? Y'all over here? See what we need to do. Cool. Anything else? No, we're pretty good. Serbia's gonna die really fast, hopefully, and then we'll do really, really well. A level 9 attack. Nice. Not enough, but hey, there they go. Who needed political power? Um, this Greece is in the Entente. Kingdom of Italy is by itself and alone, which is very weird. I'd love to go to war with them, but, huh. Entente's over here, too. Denmark is by itself. We do need to focus on the Chinese. I definitely don't want to send my tanks over this way, but I think we're probably going to have to. We'll go that way, too. Um, yeah. Good enough for now. Alright. If you like to rebuddy either one of these, please go to F for Romania. And then face Serbia. Liberate Yugoslavia. No. We're good. Didn't need stability. Didn't need political power, right? Nah, she's just gone. Very good. Very good. You guys train until they attack us. Cannons are nice. It's almost 42, so let's grab some of this as well. Very good, very good, very good. Force the attack. Because honestly, you should be able to get down here. Uh, go to there, maybe? Or actually, go right here. There we go. Also, those are the comments asking why do we have so many missing tiles. That's because apparently the game, the Kaiser Redux, at the time of this recording, got an update, and I didn't know about it. So, yeah, it's not very good for us. We'll see. So, yeah. Go. Not bad. Better already. Yeah. There you go. Where's the capital of this place? Oh, it's, ah, Alash. Oh, here comes the tanks. Good. They move so fast compared to the other groups, which is nice, 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 nice. Transylvania, Croatia. Everyone going to build up this good head? Everyone going to build up this good head, too. They need stability. A very unstable nation here. Orsk. Good. <sighs> Gotta love Asia. The Iron Curtain. Followed up with China policy. Um, claim northern Iran. Mm, let's do some. Oh! Expand the Trans-Siberian. The importance of the Trans-Siberian Railway well, to connect our military and economy cannot be overstated. With the <clears throat> infrastructure there strained by growth, we must expand it, build new railways and junctions using newer technologies. Awesome. Awesome. Mismanagement plagues us themselves, though. If you want to that, please go right ahead. Oh, my goodness. Oh, that sucks. Oh, well, it is what it is, I guess. Not really much you can really do about it now, is there? That can't blow, and we'll be done with the land auction after we get done with... Modern Blitzkrieg. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Done, Mayshu. If you don't worry about that, please go right ahead. Uh, Montenegro. Military occupation. Fate of Bosnia. Occupation is the only real answer. Basically, get plus 0.6 weekly stability. Good demand scaling, but it's going to be a very long time. The Japanese Empire is a powerful state in the Far East, which is likely to dominate, oh boy, the whole Asian or even Pacific region. Instead of military confrontation in the Far East, where infrastructure is not so developed and located far away from the capital, we can negotiate with the Japanese. So, why'd you get captured? 
Ah, but the admins. Oh, we just have to wait because we don't have enough intelligence, huh? We're close, though. We're actually very close. We're actually pushing in here, too. Jing Imperial Authority. Jing Military Government. Jing Imperial Authority. They don't have a lot of manpower, do they? No, they do not. Huh. Alright, whatever. Go in, boys. Go in, go in. When you're ready, do that too. Ah, the last republic. Thank you for playing. Thank you for dying. Foreign policy. I love foreign policy. Wow, okay, now we integrate those other people. But look at all that manpower now. Nice. Beautiful. Sweden. Wait, what? Fate of the last order. Uh, the last order has been brought under control as the troops occupy the region. We must not decide what to do with it. Reintegration. Nice. And now I'll go rescue the operative. That's not bad, honestly. Fortitude's done. Grab some of that, too. Awesome, awesome. Better meds. Nice. There we go. And... Yeah. Remove poor... Inf oh, we actually finally removed poor infrastructure, huh? Oh! That's your organization. That sucks. Oh, if you want... Well, you know, I've never read this one before. Germany's defeated the hands of combined French and Russian arms or some time ago sent shockwaves across the world. It's become apparent that this second bell creek has changed the face of Europe for years to come. The con has been divided between the Third International and the Russian bloc, both of which wield enormous forces and have bone and pick with the other side, and yet neither of them have chosen to strike first, leaving the continent split in twain. The Petrograd University in Russia has had the honor of hosting Sir Winston Churchill, a noted British statesman, writer, and fir former First Lord of the Admiralty of Britain. Speaking to the attending students, Churchill first made sure to note the sac sacrifices which the Russian nation has made, has made during the Second Valkyrie, and ensure that the British Empire and Russia shall always be natural allies in this new world order. The politician described Europe as a continent divided between two fundamentally different forces, one of liberty and one of cynical terror, one of good and one of evil, and that an iron curtain divides them. This is expresses. He expresses his dismay that, that so much of Europe's heritage and famous cities now lie in the French sphere, and hope that Russia and the Commonwealth can unite against this revolutionary threat. Nice. Though Churchill was not the first to express this idea. Uh, the striking imagery of his speech has set a new checkpoint in history. Europe went with it. The world has been divided into pros and conflict, one of ideological strife rather than power balance. It may only be solved via subversion, arms race, and diplomacy. Or a conflict far more destructive than the Second Valkyrie, a new age in world history. We get Cold War, less war support, better guaranteed costs, justified war goes up way higher. Whoa. 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 That's extreme. And we'll finally do this one. The Ukraine was given posts under military high command to prevent dangerous revolutionaries from matching the troops. We won't let this happen again. We lose intel and network strain gain factor, but it's only 10%, so it could be worse. Break the Iron Curtain, attack the Ottoman Empire. So we got a lot of things to do before anything else happens. Why do we own this? I swear, man. Sometimes I do not understand. But it's energy drink. Seems to be working. I might have some energy, even though it might be full of cancer. Yeah, I love ca energy cancer. Actually, I'm going to get you guys out of here. I I don't want to go to war Japan. I really don't. But we might just have to. Um, but we need more a bigger army. Actually, where are you guys at? You're, you're still here? Good. Um, you guys move in. Cool. Uh, let's take the tanks out because it's really not good for them to be here. So, move on over, guys. And eventually we'll take up Banat, hopefully. But you never know. Banat might just be the world superpower. Oh, integrate Lithuania? Oh, let's please do that. Nice. Ah, another tank fishing. Good, good, good. How many more medium tanks do we have? None. Okay, then. That's not good. Fighters. We got plenty of fighters, though. That is very good. And a lot of casts. Holy crap. Mm. All right, not bad. Got some bombers too. Love it. There we go. Good luck with that. Dive bombing, nice. Grab some of that too, because we got plenty of air XP right now. And fighters, oh fighters. Yeah, our Air Force is not really that great. Kind of sucks. 
There you go. Uh, there you go, right there. Except for you. Why don't you go right there? Nice. Yeah, it's probably really bad right here. Those guys are gone. I might go to world, war with Japan after we kill these guys off. And once we get some more units, some more ships, I should say, as well. Battleships are nice. Let's crack down new tungsten mines. Yes, Poland. Yes, yes. We got a lot of things to rebuild. Holy crap. Especially since we decided to integrate these areas instead of, like, liberating them. Um, we, I don't think we really need that many more military factories. We're doing pretty darn well on that stuff. Rubber-wise, we could honestly use more rubber, probably, so... Visible ink. Cool. Yeah, we'll do the best we can, just because we took such a massive penalty hit to stability. So, what's AOG doing here in our lands? Yeah. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Right. Some of that done. Um, ships. What is else did we need to make? I forget. Nice. Okay, let's do that percent anymore. That's very, very good. Just don't get caught, you dinguses. When in doubt, just don't get caught. Life advice. Quite literally, life advice. Frontline commissars. I think we'll have one more episode. I don't know if we're going to conquer all of Asia and such, but, you know. We'll do the best we can. Especially if we can join the Entente. That'd be really cool. Maybe. We'll see. Another general? Because we have more than enough manpower now, so. Ivan the Romanovsky. Cool. Not bad. Train as well. Are you guys done training? No, you're not. Lies. There you go. And just in case so we don't forget. Do, 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 do. And. Not much. But it'll work. Cool. I'm already good to war those other guys. You guys are doing okay. Um, Hotan. Let's go all the way around if you can. Uh, grab some more heavy ships. There you go. That should be pretty good. Just need a little more rubber ball, whatever. I'm going to just give myself political power just so we can get through this a little bit faster. Because I would like to just go to war with some people, so yeah. We've lost only 32,000, not bad. Um, Shang Shi and Xiang. Oh, they basically everything that's left has to die. So it's all right. Forty-three. Might as well get that one done. But after frontline commissars, what are we gonna choose? So we're done on that side. We can do some more naval stuff, which is okay. Approach road allies. We can join the Entente. But do we do? Let me know. Should we join the Entente or should we just stay by ourselves? Because we do have our own faction here. We can do the Eurasian block. It might be best to just stay with what what we have right now. Let me know if we should do that or not. Uh, claim Northern Iran. Securing our grasp of Northern Iran is important to ensure our domination of the Caspian Sea area. The Gate to India. Attack Afghanistan. Afghanistan was always a vital importance for geopolitical designs. We've fought the great game with the British for it in the past, after all. If we can conquer it in our, to our way to India, it'll be secured. That's really disgusting. Holy crap. My gosh. Yeah, the whole Imperial Man thing, not very good. And the American Civil War is still raging on, which is fine with us. We don't really care too much now, do we? No, we don't, of course not. Why would we? Hotan, thank you. Get some of this up here too. Yeah, do the best you can, guys. I know it sucks here. It sucks a whole heck of a lot. You guys go that way. Direct, direct G support, nice. Do that one too, because you can. Oh, the capital's right here. Oh, that's good. Get the capital. Hope that's enough. Capitulate him. Maybe not. Come on, come on.
uh, the Mongolian issue. Well, not only the Mongolians occupy Tuba, which is a rival land, but also standard way into China. We gotta do something about it. We absolutely got to. Thought we took out the capital. Why are they not dead yet? Xinjiang takes forever to kill off, man. There you go. Nice. Uh, does no one want to move into here? Guys? Army Division 6, that's pretty good actually. Modern Blitzkrieg, we're done with land auction. Awesome, awesome. Grab some of that too. Now that's what uh, we should be doing like like this right now. But, like, a handful of you guys, like you, come down here and do that. Gateway to India. Love it. Uh, Mongolian issue, might as well. Followed up with the China policy. <laughs> the Chinese region is now in the state of civil war. Various warlords and governments try to establish control over all the territories of the former Qing Empire. Both the Germans and Japanese try to draw China into their sphere of influence, but Russia also has claims to the Chinese region. We should choose a status support and try to help it establish control over all of China and have a strong ally as well. So we'll do the best we can. Obviously, we can't get all of Asia or Europe. We'll see what happens, but I'd like to, but like I said, we'll see what happens. Hey, we actually have a stability. A uh, stability. Go, Ottoman boys. Go, 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 go. Because once you're gone, or they're gone, we'll make sure you're gone. And I might literally just not do a focus off screen just so that we can kind of speed up a little bit more and get out of our deficit of political power. So we'll see. A China policy. Um, what is this one? Hilu Zhang exert influence on East Turkestan. The strength in our position, China, we need to deal with the situation in East Turkestan. India policy. Our best bet to ensure that uh, our interests are respected when it comes to the Indian subcontinent is to support one of the three sides vying for supremacy there. Return to Alaska. We should never sort Alaska or land of the Americans. Now that our position on the world stage is stronger than ever, it's time to ask them to return our old territory on the American continent. And Project Zilto Russia. The Yellow Russia endeavor was a plan to create a dependent state in Manchuria that could be colonized, justified, and in the end, incorporated into our nation. Now that we hold these lands, uh, our ambitions can come to fruition. We'll probably conclude with the oh, Chinese policy. Modernize Murmansk. I think I read this one before, so if you want to read about this, please go right ahead. It's 105 days, which is fine with me, actually, right now. And then submarines in Kolchak. Uh, Kamchatka, loss of lot of stock, prime generation of naval reformers uh, to focus on smaller, more cost-effective ways to safeguard the Pacific. With all the Sea of Okhotsk within its reach, basing a sub-fleet in Petroplavsk, Kamchatsky will let us strike at any potential enemy throughout the entire Pacific theater of operations and recover foreign blueprints. As a result of the decades lost of turmoil, we've fallen significantly behind several of our competitors. With our raft resources and connections, however, we could learn from our, their efforts to speed up our own naval research program. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to end it there for today, my friends. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. When we'll continue expanding into China, hopefully not get surrounded, and, well, keep expanding our good old Eurasian block, maybe. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.